Hey Crock Posse, today we're gonna show you how we make our Crock Pot Bacon Wrap Chicken Bites. Oh, we're having a whole lot of fun. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Hi, welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy. And today we are going to make some crock pot bacon wrapped chicken bites. Now Aunt Lou uh, says this is a great recipe for parties or things like that. So I think that we should have something to celebrate. Can you think of anything that's coming up in a couple days that maybe we should celebrate and have chicken bites? This is the birthday boy. That's right. My birthday from the taping of today is in a couple days. So um, let's have a party and have some chicken because you know. I think any party would go great with bacon in it. Yeah. So what you need for our little birthday party celebration, actually just our bacon wrapped chicken bites, is two chicken breasts, one one pound package of bacon, of your choice, whatever kind of bacon you want, and then three quarters cup of brown sugar. We use sucre and gold, which is a brown sugar substitute, so we're making it low carb. You can use brown sugar if you want to. That's what this, re this recipe originally was. So all we want to do, is Miss Ad grab that knife safely and carefully and cut that bacon right down the middle. Use both hands. Hold the bacon with one and cut in there with the other. Pretty good, pretty good. You're not going all the way through the bacon. Okay, don't go through the cutting board now. Okay, very good. Alright, so once we got that bacon cut up in half strips, what you need to do now is just put it to the side, get it out of the way, and then I will take care of the chicken. Can you go wash my hands? I would go wash your hands since you touch bacon, yes. And then we're going to run our knife right down the middle of the chicken. And we're going to cube it. All we want to do is have bite-sized cubes to wrap our bacon around. So maybe about an inch or so. I think Aunt Lou said that she got like 24 pieces out of two chicken breasts. So that would be 12 bites per breast. About right. Somewhere in there. Depends on the size, I guess, of your chicken breast. We were at the store the other day, and some of them looked more like turkey. They were big. But now, I think I'll take that piece and get two bites out of it, right like that. There's one piece, and then we will do the same thing with the other one. One, two. I cannot wait to try this. I know. It's, We've got the... Brown sugar and bacon is the, one of the best combinations it's, ever. It's one of the greatest combinations. Ma maple, bacon, anything, well, pretty much anything with bacon. Like sweet and savory bacon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we're big fans of bacon around here and trying new recipes with it, so this should be a lot of fun. All right, now, Especially you've got your... Crispy. That's right. Mm -hmm. You've got your two chicken breasts and your pound of bacon all cut up. So now what you want to do, Miss Adam, I'm going to show you what to do. You get your slab of bacon. I'll get my slab of bacon. Yeah. Take one strip. Just peel a strip off. It's okay to use both hands. I've got to get that lid off. I need to wash that top of that lid off when I get it. Spread out a lot. Okay, so what you do, now take a piece of chicken and just wrap the bacon around the chicken. And then once you get it done, wrapped, the folded side where it's, you know, matched up together, put that side down. That way when it cooks, when that bacon shrivels up, it won't unwind itself from your chicken. Okay. There you go. I'll take that. Put it right in the slow cooker. Okay. Just spread it out as much as I did the last one. Yeah, just kind of. And it also depends on your bacon. Some bacon's got more meat than fat. Some more. Some bacon's got more fat than meat. There we go. And all you want to do is repeat this process until you run out of chicken. Hopefully, you run out of chicken before you run out of bacon. Because then you take the rest of that bacon, you fry it up, and you make yourself a sandwich. Yeah. BLT. That's right. So we're going to speed this tape up real quick as we wrap up this chicken. And then we'll wrap up this dish by showing what we do next. In three, two, one. And it looks like we actually have more chicken than we have bacon. So I'll set this to the side and get some more bacon later. But in the meantime, we'll grab Miss Ad's chicken bites. They do good. You did great. Those are actually really good. Hmm. You did a good job of putting a tight wrap on them, too. I like that. Beginner's luck. That way that bacon, when it shrinks up, it wraps itself and hugs that chicken. And then soaks in all the flavor from that brown sugar. So now we're going to do a quick wash of our hands. Mm. 
pay homage to Kim with our paper towels. Hi, Kim. <laughs> we will set this to the side. And then we're going to take the brown sugar and we're just going to sprinkle it. Here, I'll give you half. Go ahead, put your hand in there. There you go. Now just sprinkle that brown sugar right over the top evenly to cover that chicken and bacon. And then what you want to do now is you want to set this on low for between two and three hours. Best thing I can tell you is to use a meat thermometer. Make sure that that center meat gets cooked 165 degrees at least. We like our chicken cooked to 170, but that's just because we like the texture better when it's cooked higher. But definitely up to 165 before you pull it out for the next step. And we will show you the next step in three, two, one. And now we are done. It's been about two, two and a half hours. Our chicken has cooked up to 170, which is, I said, where we like it. 165 is just fine, but get it up to 165. And, oh, that smells good. I have here a foil lined baking pan because what we want to do is we want to brown up that bacon because bacon is cooked up, of course, but it doesn't have that brown crispy texture like bacon ought to have. And then with that brown sugar that we've got in there, if we put this under the broiler for just a little bit, and that is going to brown up that bacon, it's going to crisp up that bacon, and it's going to caramelize that brown sugar. So Miss Ad, would you be a deer and go get me a ladle from over there? Well, I go ahead and finish putting these on this dish. And this is getting heavy. There's a lot of chicken in there. A lot of bacon. You know what? When I made this dish a while ago, mm. the starting dish, mm. I had just enough bacon left over that if I'd have, if I'd have kept it and not eat it like I did, mm. I would have had enough of that other bacon. Mm. All right. So now... That's what we look like right now. So I want to take that ladle. I'm going to bring these together too so that liquid holds on to itself there. So I'm going to take this ladle. And I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to take some of the juices that have formed at the bottom from all that sugar. As well as the bacon grease and the chicken. And I'm just going to make sure that goes evenly over the tops of it. We'll do so just a little bit more. It smells so good. I bet this is going to be delicious. And now I want to do is I am going to pop this under my broiler at 550 degrees for two to three minutes. And we are not going to turn our backs from it because we want to bake the bacon, not burn the bacon. That's right. So we're going to put this under the broiler and when we come back, it'll be done in three, two, one. And we're back in our bacon bites, bacon chicken bites that is, have been under the broiler for about two, two and a half minutes. And all we did was we took that bacon, I'll come show you. We took that bacon and we browned it up real good on top like that. And that, ooh, 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 mm. It tripped on my hand and it's still hot. We browned up that bacon that also lets the brown sugar that was in there kind of caramelize on top of that bacon. So, let's go in here and cut this baby in half. Oh, oh yeah. And then that's yours, and this one's mine. And we gotta give her the test run, right? We just can't say it's good. We gotta make sure it's good. Cheese, or cheers. Cheese. cheese. <laughs> no cheese in this dish. You know it's gonna be hot. Hopefully it's gonna be good. It's hot. hot. I come straight out of a broiler. Right after the slow cooker, had that time to cool off. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Now, like I said, we use a brown sugar substitute to do that so that we can keep everything low carb around here. I can imagine just what that would taste like with regular brown sugar on top of it because I think it'd be a little more caramelized and I think it would hold a little better than what that sucrin does. But that by itself is really good. I can imagine that with a dipping sauce like a honey mustard sauce or 
Like that caramel sauce that mom made one time? Or barbecue sauce, something like that. With chicken? No, wait, I mean like with the sweet chicken. Like remember well, when mom had those apples at Jen's house and then like we had uh, like the caramel dip? Well, you know, peanut peanut chicken is a big thing, so maybe. I don't know, what would you use as a dipping sauce for these chicken chicken by salad? Let me know in the comments down below what kind of a dipping sauce you would use. Or if you would just have them plain old just the way they are straight out of the broiler. I can tell you right now, blow on it because that's hot, but that is really good. you like it? Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks for helping me out today. Yeah. If you like what you saw here, other than the fact that we can't high five to save our lives, <laughs> give us a thumbs up down below. Also, if you have not become a member of the Croc Posse, what are you waiting on? Click on the subscribe button and you will be a welcome member of the Croc Posse. And also, if you want to know what we do exactly when we do it, Click the little bell we like to call the ding-a-ling down below, and we'll let you know as soon as we put something up, just as soon as we do. And whatever you do, laugh often, eat good food, and speak life. Bye. Bye. Hey, we're going to show you how we... Did you figure out how to do that yet? Yeah. <laughs> what? I just want to high five. Okay. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon.